So we are the National Vehicle and Fuels Emissions Laboratory for EPA. So we regulate motor vehicles and we regulate um, motor fuels. I'd like to say that we regulate two of the largest industries in, in the country. And so the auto companies are uh, reliant upon us to completing our certification work so that they can move forward and introduce new vehicles into commerce. Uh, two examples of that are uh, the fuel economy uh, stickers, so that number needs to be certified by the engineers and scientists at EPA. There's some testing that's involved with that. Testing doesn't happen while our, our doors are closed. But they also have to have a certificate, an emission certificate that certifies that the, these new motor vehicles meet EPA standards for tailpipe emissions. Okay, this is this is all about air quality emission. Uh, especially or, being, a, you know, a lead. The um, the when you're a lead and your 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 team sees that you're upset, it, it it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It affects the morale. So I try to stay positive for the people that I work with, you know, and I listen to their stories. Oh no, I, it and like I said, some of them were telling me that they're living paycheck to paycheck, been a, been and that uh, they don't know how how they're going to get to work. That one of my really coworkers serious. said he had like twenty dollars in the bank. And that he was putting that in his truck, and once that ran out, he wasn't going to have a way to get to work. I am extremely frustrated that these people are experiencing all of this pain for no good reason. This Trump shutdown is completely unnecessary. Tomorrow will become the longest shutdown in our history, and it's not based on any need that there's no emer real emergency on the border. You know, crossings are, have, are actually down, uh, you know, from, from historic highs uh, 10 and 15, 20 years ago. Uh, the crisis is uh, manufactured by the president who made a big campaign promise and said he was going to build his big, beautiful wall. It's his words. And, you know, we are a humane country. We are a country that needs to both protect our borders and respect and honor and welcome immigrants to this country. It's a balance.